Let's -a go! Okay? All right! Yeah, Peaches got it! Yippee! Here we go! What's yeah. going on? We're back for another edition of the Funtendo Market Report on today, Monday, March 25th, 2024. Let's jump right into the show! The Dow Jones Industrial Average down 162.26 points today. Mama mia! The Nasdaq Composite down 44.35 points today. Okie dokie! The S&P 500 down 15.99 points today. Okay! The Nikkei 225 down 474.31 points today. Oh, wow, 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 wow. All London FTSC indexes are down. Wow, 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 wow. Let's jump into currency exchange rates. The dollar posted gains against all of the major currencies except for the Brazilian currency, the Great British Pound, and the Japanese Yen. Hey, hey, I got it. Bitcoin up 4.96%, followed by solid gains from Ethereum of 5.02 cents. Checking in with some of the altcoins, Shiba INU up 6.51% within the last 24 hours, and Dogecoin up... 26.33% within the last seven days. Yeah! <laughs> Crude oil prices up 10 cents a barrel today. Gold's down $3.30 per ounce today. And silver down 6.66 cents for today. Let's jump into Mario's Madness where we cover the top stock gainers and the top stock losers of the day. Leading the pack, MicroStrategy Incorporated up 21.86%, followed by Clean Spark Inc. up 19.88%, GameStop Corporation up 15.42%, Coinbase Global Inc. up 9.47%, and Riot Platforms Inc. up 9.12%. So out of the top five, we've got two blockchain and cryptocurrency based offerings that posted solid earnings today let's jump one. into the top losers of the day alvotech down 11.24 percent wow, 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 wow. immunity bio inc down 10.38 percent amber crabby and fitch co down 10.22 percent dying therapeutics inc down 7.72 percent and chewy inc down 7.2 Two two percent. Okie dokie. Let's jump into the next segment. Peaches paycheck. Here we go. Dollar Tree is closing 600 family dollar stores in 2024. Aye! Dollar Tree announced that it's closing 600 of its family dollar store locations in 2024. On top of that, the discount retailer also plans to close an additional 370 family dollar stores plus 30 Dollar Tree locations in the next few years at the end of their leases. In total, the planned closures represent about 15% of its family dollar store locations. Let's check in on Dollar Tree Inc. stock on the news that they will close stores. It looks like today the stock is up Peachy. to $126.15, posted a gain of 44 cents per share for today. Yeah, Peachy. Trader Joe's it. just increased the price of a banana for the first time in more than 20 years. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Food prices have gone a bit bananas, and that includes a famously priced 19 cent fruit at Trader Joe's. The snack heavy grocer told CNN on Monday that it recently increased the price of banana to 23 cents, a more than 20% increase. <laughs> we only change our prices when the our costs change, and after holding our price for for bananas at 19 cents each for more than two decades we've now reached a point where this change is necessary trader joe's spokesperson said to cnn Mamma mia. All right. stores have carved out loyal fan bases and distinguished themselves from competition by sticking to low-cost deals that have become synonymous with the brand think costco's one dollar and fifty cents hot dog Though overall food inflation hasn't been rising as fast as it has been, Americans are still seeing the, the effects in the grocery store. Mamma mia! The 19 cent banana is a well known deal at Trader Joe's, so much that it's ranked as a favorite piece of produce by the company's customers. Bananas have managed to remain affordable for most Americans, 
Demand in recent years for bananas in the U.S. has been driven primarily by the fruit's affordability. <laughs> Why Nike wants to make Air Force One sneakers harder to find. <laughs> Nike Air Force One and Nike Pegasus sneakers are everywhere. That's a problem for Nike, and it wants to make them harder to buy. Nike is scaling back production of these classic sneaker lines to prevent discounting and make room for its newer lines. The Air Force One and Pegasus are staples of Nike's sneaker lineup and some of Nike's oldest sneaker lines. The Air Force Ones are known for their all-white design, while the Pegasus have large swooshes on their midsole. They are both marketed for everyday wear, but growth has slowed for these lines and other Nike products, and stores have been promoting the shoes more frequently to clear the glut off of shelves. This is a risk for Nike, which sees itself as a premium brand that wants to protect its ability to sell merchandise at higher prices and prevent products from being discounted too heavily. So Nike is cutting back supply to try to juice demand and sell them at full prices. Nike also wants to push shoppers to buy new, higher-priced Air Force Max shoes and Pegasus products. Nike, you guys know the Air Force One is my absolute favorite shoe. Wow! Nike, for that reason, that's reckless behavior. <laughs> Let's check in on the Nike stock. As Nike reports, it's tightening up its distribution and manufacturing. It looks as if... Nike took a very small dip of 11 cents on the day for today's stock. It looked like it peaked above $95 at one point throughout the trading day. However, Nike has dropped down to $93.75. I'm gonna win. Boeing CEO Dave Calhoun to step down by the end of the year. Why, I, Let's I, check I, in I, and hear what this news story has to say. But that's, that's only part, part of the announcement. announcement. Boeing's independent board chairman will not stand for re-election, will be replaced by a new board chair. And the executive who leads Boeing Commercial Airplanes Division, Stan Deal, will retire and be replaced effective immediately. Let's check in on Boeing stock as we get the news that Boeing CEO will be stepping down. Boeing up $2.56 today. So apparently the market has reacted that they would like or prefer this CEO to be out. <laughs> Let's jump into the next segment, Bowser's Blunders. <laughs> NYC firm is accused of selling S3X toy bootlegging. March 25th, a manufacturer of fantasy-themed S3X toys has accused an upstart Brooklyn, New York firm of knocking off its distinctive designs. According to a federal lawsuit alleging that the defendant has infringed on copyrights for such as Spritz the Seed Dragon and Tyson the Water Buffalo. In a March 20 complaint filed in U.S. District Court in Arizona, Bad Dragon Enterprises contended that its sculptural products have been illegally copied by Sensaint which is headquartered in a Coney Island warehouse and advertises that all its ethically manufactured toys are made in Brooklyn, USA. Bad Dragon, which noted that it has significant commercial success in the adult toy field, alleged that Sensate has been selling the duplicate through its website and other trade channels, including the recent AVN Adult Entertainment Expo in Las Vegas, where the new firm's exhibitor booth was next to that of the all-nude Palomino Strip Club. <laughs> the lawsuit identifies 13 separate that Bad Dragon claims have been copied and renamed by Sin Saint, which was incorporated in New York last year. The colorful silicone toys feature scales, tentacles, suction cups, and other design elements meant to mimic the genre of dragons, sea creatures, and other fantastical characters. Yeah, I don't know where this is going, but we're out of here. Y'all know what time it is. It's Mario's Mama's Monday. 
Mamma mia! Dish. So if you come to Italy, you're not really going to find it. In Italian cooking rules, we don't usually put chicken on pasta. Do not order Here we go. spaghetti and meatballs. Uh, there are some parts of Italy that <laughs> do put tiny meatballs, polpettine, on pasta. That being said, the big giant meatballs on spaghetti is not a thing. So Mamma mia! A tourist trap, and you need to run the other way. Comment for part two. Go back to the beach and see what the ladies in Italy are doing. Yeah. Attention space fans, it's time to get excited. The solar eclipse, which will traverse a large section of the United States, is just days away. And while we're sure all you astronomy lovers already have your plan squared away, Oreo would like you to add one more tasty treat to your eclipse snacking itinerary. Huh? It's Oreo Space Dunk Cookies. Huh? But hang on, there's more. The brand is also giving one lucky person the chance to dunk this cookie in space. In January, Oreo released its limited edition flavor, which comes stuffed with layers of blue and pink cosmic cream, mm. which is described as a marshmallowy flavor, along with popping candies baked right into the to create a supernova bursting sensation with each bite. Mm. Beyond being delicious, the cookies are rather fun to look at too. <laughs> They each feature one of five galactic embossments and a small cutout in the cookie, giving snackers a chance to see the colorful cream. That's going to wrap it up for today's edition of the Funtendo Market Report on Monday, March 25th, 2024, where we don't act funny when it comes to your money. Take that. <laughs> Bingo. Bye-bye. See you next time!